right guys it's your boy white album here welcome back to another mortal kombat one reaction video today i bring you guys the combat cast for sector and cyrax or cyrax and sector as it says here and uh, i'll be honest with you guys i kind of forgot this was coming out today weirdly enough uh you know i was at work you know doing my thing at work and um you know i had a bit of downtime and you know i just was on twitter and like the first thing i saw was a clip of havoc he was just doing things i was like okay and then it's like havoc buffs and i was like okay what so I clicked on it and somebody goes like there was a comment that said oh is the combat cast happening the guy and the the uh original poster goes like yeah I had to set a reminder about an hour ago I was like oh fuck so it was like it was like happening while I was at work I think it was I think they were practically finished by the time I realized that um let's see they oh it was basically it was basically finished by the time I realized that uh it was uh, <laughs> that it was what's it called um but you know what that that gives me a great opportunity to uh get an actual reaction you know or i, I guess a reaction because uh, i have not seen anything yet you know when i found out that it was happening today i did everything to not look at uh, any clips any videos i did see some screenshots i think it was just one of them was um was basically sector without her headgear so she has like her hair out which is pretty cool um and then obviously i saw the havoc buffs which is nice so havoc's getting buffed so we'll, be, we'll see what those are like in just a moment so here we go. Enough uh, rambling, man. I did skip up uh, to when um to when it starts. That way, I don't have to wait the whole ten minutes for it to actually uh, play out. But uh, here we go, man. Leave a like on the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, let's do it, man. Let's get it. Let's get it in three, two, one. In three, two, one. Let's get it. All right, here we go, man. Cause I, I can't wait to see how Sector plays, man. I want to see what they what they got going on for her. And Cyrax, I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll bump my uh, my hype up for Cyrax. Everyone to the latest edition of the Combat Cast. It's been a little bit since we've been here. A little bit, a little bit. But we are here. Turn up just a skosh. Some of the new characters coming. We're gonna talk about Chaos Reigns. Robot rule. Okay, before I actually get into here, uh, it's funny because they're doing a a Combat Cast for Sector and Cyrax, which makes sense. It's the you know it's the 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 cyborgs, the Iron Maidens, as I call them. Uh, but it makes me wonder, I, I guess they're going to be doing a combat cast for Noob Cybot by himself. They're going to give him his own combat cast, which is pretty crazy. Uh, which also makes me wonder, uh, when are they going to show off his gameplay trailer? Are they going to do it like the week before Chaos Reigns drops? I think that would be the most likely case, right? Because we had two weeks between Sector and Cyrax's trailers, so two weeks is like what the 18th which is a tuesday they could probably drop off a noob sidebots trailer and then the 24th which is the week after that is uh or they could do the combat cast like say on a on a thursday or friday and then obviously the 24th boom we got chaos reigns and we got uh the cyborgs and noob sidebots so i uh, wonder how they're gonna do it i wonder how they're going to do that so let's get into it let's keep going Sorry again for pausing, but I literally just got off work, so uh, I got changed, ate a quick snack, and I legit set up, and here we are, man. Let's do it. <laughs> so sorry if I'm a little, a little, uh, I look a little like uh, sluggish. Stephanie Brownback, she may leave here at another round, and technically in Liu Kang's new era, they're not robots. Although I agree in spirit that robots do rule. Robots just rule in general. Fair. That's true. Unless Fair. they take us over, then they do not rule. I'm fine with it. Thank you, for, <laughs> thank you for the for the lore there. That's we all, we need that. Mm -hmm. Now, before we get started, a lot of you've already seen it, but if you haven't, there's at least three people that have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you haven't, let's take a look one more time at the sector trailer. Uh, I'm gonna just skip it because we've already seen it yesterday. So, boom, skip that. Let's keep going, shall we? Animalities, baby! I can't wait to do a reaction on those dudes. It'd be so sick. And I think I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep Katana last. I'm gonna do that. And uh, I, I pray to Ed Poom that her animality is not trash. <laughs> Both of the first trailers have been really amazing. Just, yeah. just the the way you see the characters evolve into like you still see things you remember, but it's it's evolved. Well, so Stephanie, of this trailer, what what, what is your favorite? 
Um, definitely Sector's rocket launcher and the rocket launcher moves. I love that, you know, originally... Very MK4. Robot Sector would shoot everything out of his chest compactor, and now she is a little more grounded. Suit, and she has just a giant rocket launcher that she can shoot. And I love the VFX, the smoke trail, the sound effects. It's very, very satisfying. Yeah, if it didn't know, uh, Sector had a gun back in, uh, I think it was MK Gold, MK4, at the first uh, 3D game. And it was like, I'm pretty sure Sector was like downright busted in that game. Just insane. It's a fun way to die. I love a lot of just the aerial stuff, the, the bombing up into the air, and, just, and then the sending missiles down. It's just like a full-on barrage at all times. And I think that's really cool to see. Mm -hmm. And again, the, just the effects. Nailed it. Really feel good about those. They look awesome. And it feels like you're just constantly under pressure by this It definitely looks like you're constantly machine. under pressure. Yeah. So, uh, so that would be sector now we will be getting to sector to show you how she plays in a little bit mm -hmm. but before then i do want to get onto a few things where over the next couple streams we're going to be talking about some things coming up in the chaos reigns which comes september 24th Ooh. very exciting again day after my birthday asking about havoc what really and, havoc. and okay this, here's the buffs here's the buffs is havoc gonna get any changes any buffs anything like that well as a Havoc main, I have good news for you. I call Cap on that. Stuff coming, and to show you, we have a brief video okay, so this is what I saw on Twitter before I stopped myself from completely watching it. He was doing some nutty stuff, so let's, let's see. Let's get into it. Like, that's new. Uh -huh. That's new. It have burned it. Nice. So that was pretty cool. Havoc got some new stuff. Yeah. Looks like it's like a new, like, he has an over. Wait, hold on. Did they give him a dive kick? Let's go back to that real quick. Hold on. Let's see. Uh, uh, does the. Oh, fuck. All right. I guess we're going to do a side analysis here. Uh. Uh, okay, so Liu Kang does 404. He does armor, knocks him down, does an instant jump meter burn, and it pops up. That's insane. It's no Natara dive kick, but that's a, he's got a brand. He's got they gave him two new moves so far from what we've seen. Okay, so it's his normal uh, aerial string. Uh, uh, I think that's stand one, two. And then I'm pretty. This is a new string. God damn! Look how contorted his body gets. Hold on, I went too far. Uh, 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 uh. What the hell, dude? What an insane. So that's a brand new string for him, which pops up. Then those meter burn, uh, the tether, then snaps the neck. Which that's uh, that's an unblockable if you never play, faced against a havoc. It's funny because I remember I played havoc for like a day. I played him like for one single day, and I was like, yeah, he's pretty cool. But I didn't really continue playing with uh, playing with him on uh, afterwards. So okay, those are his new new buffs. Okay, new buffs. I don't know what the. I'm guessing his armor move now is it faster on startup? Hold on, let me let's watch this one more time. Uh, uh, because there's a gap between this. It might activate faster. I have no clue. Maybe he gets his armor faster. I, I have no clue what would be the difference here. Hard knockdown does the jump fucking. So obviously that's going to be an overhead. So you better. That's definitely going to be either. That's got to be like punishable on blocker. Right? They're not going to do what they gave to Natara, right? Weirdly enough, I feel like it makes sense with Natara. It shouldn't. Not, it shouldn't make sense with uh, with Havoc. But he's got an instant, not instant overhead, but he's got an overhead that he can do. So that, that's a new move. So I bet you that's just a hard knockdown on like normally, but on meter burn, it's uh it's a pop-up. Uh again, normal airstream combo that he's always had. Stand one, two. I think that's stand one, two. Knocks him down. Does it again. So he does stand one. Cause I think that's I think that's either the start of stand one or stand two, and then he goes into this like low that knocks them up in the air. Uh, 
uh -huh. airstring again uh -huh. and to meter burn tether uh -huh. okay man Ooh. hopefully that's a hopefully that's good man because look as much as i hate fighting against havoc he's uh he's oof, he's he's rough man especially when you're trying to like learn and play with him and then it's not until you actually play with him online that you're just like this character fucking sucks but uh it, it, it's between like people like to i like when uh when you go on like twitter and you see like the like sub-zero players and havoc players trying to fight for who who has the worst character in the game it, it's so funny but let's keep going but not bad okay not bad not bad something you want to go back and watch again to see what had happened but there are a couple things in that video which if you know havoc or if you played against havoc you know are very different uh, for instance, in the match, Liu Kang uses his uh, Tords 434, which has a big gap. Now, Havoc's arm flail is now faster. Okay, so I, I was right. It's faster on startup, okay. So it actually can get through that. Okay. So that's a big change for Havoc. Really going to help out some Havoc players. Okay, cool. You, uh, so they buffed his armor. I will say, though, did they nerf the amount of hits it can take? Because let's be honest, there's no reason why that fucking move needs three hits of armor. I think, if I remember correctly, that move has three hits of armor. Does not need that. Um, I don't know why. It doesn't need it. I mean, I say that, and Ashra has the same thing, too. She has, like, a quote-unquote flash parry. Uh, but I don't think it needs to have three hits of armor, but, you know, that was their decision for some reason. But now it's faster on startup, and the armor activates faster, okay? So I kind of got that. Punch, which is nice. He also has a new move in the uh, air you might have seen. It's kind of a stretchy kick. Uh, if you use meter on that, it Don't actually... Go have a leg. Right. If you use meter on that, it actually pops up, which okay. is ground bounce. So you're able to get a little more... Bounce. You know, more bounce in, in your stuff. More bounce for your back. There right. you go. And get some more combos out. Uh, he also has a new move, which is a low launcher. Yeah, this one, I really love the animation that he's breaking his own knees to get down that low and scoop you up. Right, so some more... It's the easier way to do it. Yeah. More combo potential again. Um, and then finally, his uh, jump 2-4 has a different reaction, so you can do mm. uh, just more combos. Okay, I, I did notice that. Your back further. Now, it, now you're able to do more combos. Right okay, so the they made it so it floats your character a lot more. Okay. So I'm sure you're gonna Instead of that weird, like, pushback. Okay, not bad, not bad. Fans, I'm sure you're going to enjoy those changes. <laughs> I mean, it depends on how, like, what what are the what's the frame data and the startups on half those moves, you know? Because <laughs> it doesn't matter if your character gets a new move if, if the move is shit, you know? It's really going to change up how Havoc plays. Now, there is a lot of other stuff coming for other characters, and we'll try to get to some of that uh, in, in future streams. But today, we're also going to talk about some cameos. Ooh, we have a lot of cameo changes coming. Yeah. Sub-Zero, Sonya, Jax. Seen some of the trailers and some of the teases. But first, we're going to start okay. out uh, with Sub-Zero. Hell yeah. Let's, uh, take a look at that. Hell yeah, baby. Ice parry. Ice parry. I love it. No fucking way. He does fucking ice clone. He does the ice clone toss. You can do the ice clone. There better be a brutality for that, man. Come on. The cameos, in my opinion, are lacking in brutalities. We we need some new brutalities. For these cameos, man. That would be such a sick one. You fucking freeze yourself and Sub Zero tosses you and they just shatter. Oh my god, that'd be such an insane brutality. That that's really cool. That's really cool. Depends. What's the startup on the ice freeze on the ice parry though? Is it like an armor that I could do on wake up? That'd be nice. Cause if if ice parry has an insane startup then well i mean i guess i could watch it one more time if ice parry has like such an insane startup dude you could like legit do parries like like in between gaps and shit if you're quick enough with it but then again with with um cameos they're usually slow on startup when it comes to uh certain moves because how like against uh, I, i'm gonna go on a tangent not a tangent but with uh when you you should jinko against reiko should jinko gets reiko's uh what's it called is parry it fucking sucks because it just doesn't do anything. Like, I don't know if Reiko has any gaps in his strings, but even on Wake Up, it's trash. Even though it's supposed to be like his armor or thing. But, you know. 
Let's see. So I want to see. Oh, that that's actually a really quick startup. That's actually quicker than his like ice armor. That's pretty quick. Huh. It looks like the ice dirt. The ice is not. It doesn't last as long. Okay. So if I was to say to use katana and I do that, uh, I can't set up wind bomb. Okay. So that's 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 a neat thing to know. Okay. But that, that's so sick. I need that to be a brutality. I love that. So, Cameo Sub Zero has a parry now. That was chilly. That okay, was chilly. Okay. Very good. Very good. That was cringe. Uh, Love parries in any game. So if, you'll notice in the video when uh, when they could have poked, they use the parry, uh -huh. right. which freezes them, and you can also combo after after that. Now a lot of savvy players might start knowing you're going to parry and wait. And then what can they do? Well, then you can just throw the clone at them. You can throw an ice clone. You can throw the ice clone at advantage too. <laughs> so there's just another some some new stuff to bring into the Sub Zero. At so advantage. Right, and you know, Havoc, a lot of people use Havoc and Sub-Zero, so this is, you know, two things that work well together as well. Um, we also got one more to show today, uh, one of my favorite characters in Mortal Sonya? Kombat history. Uh, Jax has a new Oh, Jax. What the fuck? Awesome. Then I gotta show Sonya? She got Arc Kick and uh, Bicycle Kick again. Come on, like, one of her, like, most iconic moves, and then I gotta show her off? But well, we got Jax. Right, a new move for this game, but he's used but it for classic. years. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at that video. The gotcha grab. Oh, is that? That's ambush. That's insane. Okay. Classic gotcha grab. Yep. One of the best moves ever. So, what you can do with this is if you're playing somebody and they keep using a similar sequence with their cameo, you can call a gotcha grab out. Jackson. He's gonna get you. He'll get you. He's gonna get you. He will punch the other cameo. He has two hits of armor, so you can stop their cameo in their. Bro, Serena spammers are gonna hate Jax, dog. Serena spammers are going to hate Jax, dog. Two hits of armor, you can tank her fucking uh, what's it called? Like you can duck the move, call out Jax. He tanks the two hits and he just grabs Serena. Oh no. Bro, Serena spammers are gonna fucking hate Jack's cameo, dude. He doesn't mess around. He does. He doesn't mess around. So it's just another thing that's added to Jax's arsenal to to help. And it's I really enjoy it because I like things that affect other cameos. Right. Like seeing cameos interact. And it's like he has now almost the full spectrum of his classic moves, too, yeah. which is cool. So that'll be fun to use, and I'm sure a lot of people will like, you know, you you play your friends all the time the same thing they have the same thing that they do and now you have this little little wrench you can throw in. I'm gonna get you. and keep in mind when you're hitting their cameo their player is taking damage mm -hmm. that's right so Ooh. big things there uh but i think I, I know why a lot of people are here right now me Derek. so there are things things on the horizon yeah oh i wasn't being serious but yeah there's always some things on the horizon bud uh, so we have some stuff coming for Invasion that we're going to hold, right? Yeah, so of course we're going to have a new season. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of just fun, quality of life things that we, we've done to this new season, season 8. But we're going to wait mm -hmm. until the next stream, because we've got two characters to go through today, we right? Do. And I think we people really want to see what's up with these condiment characters. Yes. You know? <laughs> the condiment characters, that's funny. So they're going to be... So they're going to keep the stuff for Invasion's next... Uh, Next stream, which is going to be the Noob Cybot one. Okay, that make, I guess that makes sense. Um, I just wonder what, I wonder what they're going to talk about. Because I still don't know who... The, apparently, the next season is going to be based off of Liu Kang. Which is sick, because I love that. I love his uh, Order of Darkness skin. It's like one of my favorite uh, OD skins in the game. And obviously, I'm, I've been using it on him. Uh, and if that's true, that's pretty cool. I still want Katana's... Full, I want all the pallets for that skin, you know? You know what I mean? And we do, and there's some, some fun stuff. So I, I'm praying that they actually put her Titan battle in uh, in the next season. Or who knows, at the end of this season, I would love that even more, you know? <laughs> Grind that out and show off her, her color pallets, man. Get hyped, there's some really cool stuff we'll be talking about. Oh yeah, absolutely, but we don't want to, you know, take away Fair. from that. Fair. Uh